This next item is a vintage Christmas 1929 Marshall Field Fashions of the Hour magazine catalog. I absolutely love these types of bolos. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to share with you some big money, unexpected bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a big profit. Um, in this video, I'm going to feature members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, this channel right here. And basically, they have joined memberships to be featured in this video. If you're interested in joining memberships, there is a link down in the description of the video. We are going to dig right in and get started. And some of these are going to knock your socks off. All right. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I will have all of their eBay stores linked down in the description. And if they have a YouTube channel, that will be linked down below as well. So the first item comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, and he does have a YouTube channel. I definitely go over and check him out, but he is also selling on Whatnot, and he is doing fantastic over there. So if you are not following him over there, definitely do that. There is a link down below. If you guys are not already on Whatnot, you can use that link. And if you join with that link, you're going to get a $10 credit. So free money to go shopping on Whatnot. So that's linked down below as well. All right, Franklin Hill Ventures. And what did he sell? He is definitely a bolo finder and he also has booths and does a really fantastic job with those. And uh, he talks about those on his Instagram as well. So you can follow him there. And he is on Facebook, all Franklin Hill Ventures. So he sold this vintage Andrea by Sadik Warbler figurine. And it's a statue with two birds. And this sold for $151.80 plus shipping. You guys, he got this at a garage sale for $1. The next item he sold is this FUBU Athletics Queens uh, City Edition hoodie sweatshirt size XXL. And he got this at a thrift store for two bucks and it sold on auction for $52 plus shipping. Here is the inner tag and just a really fun, cool piece right there. The next item he sold is this vintage Indian India tapestry. Ooh, Jujarat elephants, peacocks. Here it is. Let me get a close up for you guys. And he got this at a yard sale for 50 cents and he turned it into $50. So that is a fantastic return. All right. The next item comes from Leanne's something for you. And she also has a YouTube channel, but she's not doing a whole lot on it right now. So she wanted me to focus on her um, eBay store. So definitely go down and check her out. She's got some really great items. She has a great eye for uh, cool, unique, different items. So check her out down below. And I'm just going to scroll through a little there and show you some of the items in her store. And the first item she sold is this vintage um, processed plastic kids ride on ATV. How fun is that? Check it out. Would you have picked that up or would you have walked right past it? She said it was free. It was on the curb and she picked it up and sold it for $100 plus shipping. The next item is this Little Mermaid Ariel in a clamshell. And I absolutely love selling little minifigures that can also be used as cake topper. You definitely want to use cake topper in your title. And she sold this for $23 and she got it at a garage sale for a quarter. The next item that she sold is this vintage Marquette in lady in lady or is that inlay? I think that's supposed to be inlay wood brass serving tray platter, Italy. Very cool piece right here. And she picked this up at a thrift store for two bucks and took a best offer of $40. The next item comes from thrift and style 1156. And here is her eBay store. And again, that will also be linked down below in the description. And I don't know if you guys know, but you can follow eBay stores by going up into the store and clicking on the heart. That will um, alert you when they post new items into their store. She sold these overalls, 90s, 
from the 90s, Y2K overalls, guess, light denim button fly, pressed logo, wide leg. There you have it. She sold these for $94.98, and she got these at the Goodwill Benz. So super fun. Uh, vintage bibs, guest jeans. I remember wearing guest jeans. You know, you had to have the little triangle on the back. Oh my goodness, guest jeans. And then we'd peg them. <laughs> you guys, did you peg your pants or is that a different, are you a different age group? <laughs> Oh my goodness, pegging our pants. All right, men's Sergio Tacchini tracksuit, color block, uh, Italian made. Goodwill, she paid 16 bucks for this and sold it for $99.80. And this is what the tag looks like. This next item here, she sold, it's an antique Ronson straight razor. Some of these old razors can be big money. They do range from bread and butter to big money. So definitely look them up if you see them. This one actually came with um, some blades. So that definitely probably helped increase the value. She got this at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for $59.97. The next item she sold is this uh, crimper. I love it. She got it out of a dumpster. It was a dumpster find, a dumpster dive. It's a sexy hair texture lock pro ceramic crimper. And it sold for $77.40. And it was still in the original box. Can you believe it? New in the original box. So I don't know where she, um, I don't know if it was like a CVS or a Walgreens or something like that or a hair salon, but it was still in the packaging. All right, the next item comes from Cheryl Shiny Squirrel, and here is her eBay store. Check her out. She's got some really cool items available. I love how um, this shows up on that background. She did a really good job showcasing those. Looks really good. All right, let's see what she sold. She sold this classic vintage Thai scrapper puppy dog. And this was a personal item that she had at home. But I just wanted to showcase this one. I actually picked this one out because a lot of times, you know, people say the TY or the tie, there's a big beanie baby thing, you know, some of them show that they went for like thousands of dollars. It's just in most cases, not true. A lot of them though, can be a decent bread and butter. And I would consider this a, a good bread and butter. $36.99. I think that's great. Um, so I wanted to showcase that for you. The next, and that is a 12 inch. So that one's a little bit bigger. Disney store Pocahontas plush 19 inch. Um, these Disney store princess dolls do pretty good. Um, I have been pretty successful with those. I typically pay $5 or less when I pick them up. This was also a personal item of hers. She sold it for $35.99 plus shipping. The next item is this Temptations by Tara Figural fruit mixed berry pie plate dish. And she sold this for $55.99 and she picked this up at the Goodwill for $3.99. The next item comes from Toledo Antique and here is their YouTube channel. They also do uh, live selling events over on their channel. So you can check them out here. You can check them out on Instagram. They are a wealth of knowledge. They know a lot about vintage and antique items. All right, they sold and they like to ship these big sets of glassware and they have videos that show you how to do it. No way do I have the patience for that. But this is 36 pieces and they got it at an estate sale for $30 and they took a best offer of 160. And can you imagine how long that would take to ship? And this is a small set. They have shipped huge sets. So check them out for more information on how to ship these breakables and get them places safely. This right here is a vintage 1934 Chinese hanging scroll hand painted silk painting. This came from an estate sale. They paid $35 for it and it, they took a best offer of $240. This next item was a consignment item. Okay, you guys, 69 pieces. That is what I call insane. <laughs> like there's just no way I would ever have the patience Oh, to ship that. Let me know in the comments if you would ship something like that. Uh, it says consignment and they sold it for 350 And when they do consignment, they get a 50-50 split. All right. Electric Garage Sale. He does estate cleanouts and he finds really fantastic stuff. 
definitely go and check out his store because the stuff he finds is just cool. And I'm going to show you some of his solds here and you will see what I mean. Uh, this vintage 1950s fire truck, it is pressed steel. He got this at an estate clean out and took a best offer of $79 plus shipping on that. This here is a vintage cabinet card, Pioneer Grove packing horse, Rock Ledge, Florida workers. He got this in a high bid lot. It was $7 for a box and he ended up taking $60 for this one item plus shipping. This next item is a vintage Christmas 1929 Marshall Field Fashions of the Hour magazine catalog. I absolutely love these types of bolos and super excited to showcase this one. And uh, he sold this for $74.95 and he got it at a auction and he had about $12.50 in this. And the next item is this huge grandpa's junk drawer assortment collection, vintage lot of goodies and treasure. And I asked him, I said, are you going to do more of these? Because again, he does estate clean outs. And sometimes it's easier just to list the smalls in a big lot like this for somebody who likes to part things out and do bread and butter um, listings. I like to do that. Uh, look at this old ring case. Uh, check out my jewelry video to see what I sold one of those for. Mine was fancier than this, but some of those old vintage jewelry cases can be big money. Um, if they're celluloid and fancy, check out solds on those. But this is a really cool lot and it only went for $52. So I definitely think there was some room for money to be made. So make sure you're following his eBay store um, by clicking on that heart because he acted like he was gonna do more of these in the future. So could be some potential for sourcing for you guys. Antiques at Wandering Creek. Here is her eBay store. Lots and lots of cool stuff. And we are gonna look at a, three of her solds as well. The first item here is this vintage Southwest Indian solid copper Thunderbird pendant necklace. She sold this for $37.50 with uh, free shipping. And she got this at an estate sale for two bucks. And she said it did take a long time to sell. The next item she sold is this Jasper chip bead necklace, brick red, free shipping. And it is a continuous necklace, meaning that it does not have like um, a clasp. And she got this at a private buy. She paid a dollar for it and it sold for $17.95. The next item here is this Superstition Stoneware Planter SW Cactus Terracotta Free Shipping Arizona Rocks Mauve. And she sold this for $25 worth free shipping. It took about two weeks to sell and she got it from a neighbor who was moving for $2. The next item comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. Again, she finds crazy, crazy stuff. Really unique and just awesome, awesome finds. So check her out and let's see what she sold. She sold this bear and this one is a lower dollar one. I'm I was surprised she sent me this one, but it's still really cool and maybe something that you would walk past. Um, it's an antique Shawnee pottery white bear from the 1930s and 1940s. Again, I have no idea how you would go about, um, figuring out the age of something like this, but she's just really good with old items like this. She got it free at a house clean out and sold it for a best offer of $32. The next item she sold is this reindeer. It is by Holt Howard. I love finding Holt Howard. Um, I've done really well with that brand. It's a Christmas reindeer and it is paper mache and it is a candle holder. And she got this free at a house clean out also and took a best offer of $90 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this Nicole Sire, Sayer Halloween Jack-O-Lantern head candy container. It is pre-owned condition for vintage item. And she sold this for $125 and she picked it up at an estate sale for $20. So when I do vintage Halloween, what I like to do is put vintage Halloween in the title because I feel like I know I search vintage Halloween when I'm searching to do my videos. Um, 
I don't know. Let me know in the comments. She gets really great prices for her stuff. So I think she's really, really good at titles. Definitely check out her store. Don's One Stop and Shop. Here is his eBay store. Lots of great items. They range from bread and butter to big money. And he just has a really cool store. Show you a little more here. And we are going to go in and see what he sold. He sold this Robin Williams Comic Genius Deluxe Set 22 DVDs. This sold for $152.15. And he got this in a bulk buy. The next item is this Ertl pressed steel toy vehicle. He got this at a yard sale for $5 and he took a best offer of $55. It is an AT&T delivery van. Here's another one that he got at that same yard sale for $5. It is a 1979 monogram snap tight Freightliner conventional model kit. He sold this one for $95 plus shipping. The next item comes from Flippin' Pallets, and they are pallet flippers. They buy pallets, and they get them from, like, Walgreens, I think CVS, um, different places, and then they flip the items. But what's great about pallets, um, I don't get excited about pallets. It's really not my thing. But you can list the item and then have, like, a huge quantity of that item, and then it just keeps selling. So there are definitely some pros to uh, listing it. To me, it would just be not exciting, but it doesn't always have to be exciting. If, you know, like the hunt, the search, you know, it's like it comes to your door, you know what you're getting, you have a manifest, you list it, and then you have a quantity. I want like the weird vintage stuff, but people do amazing with this. So if you want to learn more about flipping pallets, go check out flipping pallets. And here we go. They sold this, I mean, right here is a good example. Now, this is kind of like a treasure hunt because I don't think she knew what she was going to get in this box. But it, this is an Amazon Returns, and it's Briggs & Riley Baseline 22-inch carry-on luggage. Sold for $470. The cost of goods was around $2. So that is just, that's exciting. So I would have been excited about that. All right. The next one here is this uh, Burt's Bees Lot of Two Forest Lipstick. And you can see they listed it for $15.60. They've sold three. They're sold out. And what she said she likes to do sometimes is she, if she has a whole bunch is she will create a listing with so many. And then once it sells, she'll create a new listing. I don't know if that's just on certain items or what. But this is L'Oreal Touch of Highlights iced champagne and it's got a damaged box and she is selling these for $48 plus shipping. She's already sold two and has two available, but I do want to bring to your attention 22 years selling on eBay and her account was restricted. Go watch this video because if, especially if you do pallets, because she has been on eBay a long time and she learned something new and she shares that story in this video and you can see it got 22,000 views and I know it helped a lot of people. So definitely go and check that out. All right, you guys, that was 32 big money bolos from featured members of this channel. If you would like to be featured, you can join down below. Level two gets you in a video like this. And I also have bonus opportunities too. So you can get shout outs in other videos. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And there's going to be some videos popping up here, here, and a subscribe and a video below. I'd love for you to check out another video. Thank you again so much and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.